Welcome to the Healthcare and Social Media Physician Tutorial Training Site, brought to you by the Pennsylvania Academy of Family Physicians. Today we're going to talk about Twitter, which is a very popular social media network that is being used every day all across the world for mobile phones, tablets, and desktops everywhere. So let's talk about where Twitter came from. Twitter was created in March of 2006 by Jack Dorsey, Evan Williams, Biz Stone, and Noah Glass. Twitter is a microblogging platform that allows users to create messages of 140 characters or shorter out to the network. Twitter is unique as a social network because it was de developed to work seamlessly on mobile devices from the start. Twitter recently went public and is now traded as of November 2013. So Twitter started in 2006 and has only been around now for seven years and is by far one of the most popular social networks on the planet because of its ease of use. Let's take a look at the quick facts. The average Twitter user has 208 followers and spends 170 minutes on the site every month. So as a person who is using Twitter, you typically have somewhere in the range of 170 to uh, 300 thumb some followers. You got the median at 208 and you're spending about a little bit more than three hours, a little less than three hours, each month on the site. There are more than 200 million active Twitter users worldwide, and more than 500 million tweets are sent from the platform every day. 60% of Twitter's users worldwide are active on mobile. That is a huge number. 200 million active Twitter users worldwide, and there are more than 500 million tweets that are sent out every day. 60% of those tweets that are being sent out each day are on mobile devices. So that is where Twitter's power comes into effect, is that it's set up to be as easy to use as text messaging. And in fact, it very much resembles text messaging. So it took three years and two months and one day for the first billion tweets to be sent out on the platform. That same number is now sent out every 48 hours. So every 48 hours, a billion tweets is sent out, being shared on the network across the planet. You can see below where I got my uh, facts from telegraph.co.uk, uh, and they had some great facts about the Twitter IPO and um, how Twitter is actually being used. So how does this work for you as a physician? How do you use Twitter as a physician? Well. Twitter allows you to connect with your community as a whole to be a resource. Unlike Facebook, you can connect with patients on Twitter, though it requires some finesse and some um, figuring out of how you want to talk with them. Unlike, uh, unlike a Facebook business page, some physicians actually set up their Twitter accounts for their practice, so they're tweeting as an organization. And that's one way that you can actually talk to patients and your community at large. But still, you have to think of HIPAA. You want to make sure that none of the information you're posting is violating any HIPAA statutes. So you can set up a Twitter account as your entity, as your business itself, or you could also set it up as a personal one that you are tweeting under the name as a doctor and you are then sending people who are starting to ask questions that they really shouldn't be on social network, you can direct them to approve methods of contacting you. So it also allows physicians to connect with colleagues and coordinate mass messaging on topics and subjects. So what do I mean by that? You can connect with other physicians who are on Twitter and other healthcare professionals and share information, share resources, send links back to each other and you can also coordinate mass messaging. So if you are all partaking in a particular subject, um, a good example is National Rural Health Day, if you want to all send information out to the masses about National Rural Health Day, you can coordinate and send like messages back and forth between each other so that it's shared out to everyone's audience. It also allows physicians to quickly connect with others in their field and coordinate for live events. So if you are participating in a CME conference or other live event, you can coordinate with other people at that event, other attendees, 
event organizers, and you are able then to find ways to meet up for those events. So Twitter is very cool in the fact that it lets you do this sort of thing, it's like very much like texting. If you didn't have someone's number, you would try to find out and text and find, you know, try to coordinate for a live event. Well, Twitter allows you to do that instantaneously. As long as someone has a Twitter account and you find their account, you're able to coordinate and see if they want to meet up also. This is great for a lot of um, CME events and other healthcare events so that you can get together and talk amongst yourselves as colleagues and then you can leave from the event and you know share how great it was to see them you know through Twitter. The last thing here is that physicians get instantaneous feedback on their thoughts, the news, and their ideas. So if you're a physician and you're sharing information out through Twitter or you're giving an opinion about a certain article or um, certain, a certain media story, uh, you can get instantaneous feedback. This is a pro and a con though, because remember with social media, everyone can see everything that you post. Just assume that. So having an opinion about a certain article, about a certain news story, can get you, you know, really positive feedback, and it can also get you extremely negative feedback. But the feedback is almost instantaneous. So that's where the power of Twitter comes into play. Unlike Facebook, where it's a little bit more long term, you know, Twitter is right at the uh, drop of a dime. It happens instantly. So let's talk about how we can actually create our Twitter account in the next video.